Hi guys, and welcome to Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Today's video is by request on the Everly Brothers, but it's going to be a little twist to it. Uh, it's about their onstage fight. I think it was in 1973, uh, and it's still one of the most spectacular band breakups in history. Uh, in quotation, it was really a funeral. Take a look. Okay. Uh, Don and Phil Everly were born two years apart in 37 and 39 to Isaac Ike Milford Everly Jr. and Margaret Embry Everly. Ike and Margaret got married with an 11-year age gap between them. Uh, the Everly brothers went to Longfellow Elementary School in Iowa for a year before moving to Shenandoah, where they spent a considerable chunk of their childhood. The family then relocated to Knoxville, where the brothers attended West High School. In 55, the family once again relocated to Madison while the Everly brothers moved to Nashville. At that time, Don had been graduated from high school while Phil was attending Peabody Demonstration School, where he graduated in 57. While living in Knoxville, a family friend of the Everly brothers noticed the brothers. And they then became a duo, subsequently moving to Nashville. A uh, family friend, Chet Atkins, was affiliated with RCA Victor Studios, but somehow got the brothers a recording deal with Columbia Records in 56. After recording, recording their song, Keep a Lovin' Me, in 56, the song flopped, and the record label dropped them. Atkins then introduced the brothers to Acuff Rose Music Publishers. Rose gave the brothers a catch to signing uh, the recording deal. catch was that they would get the contract only if they signed on as songwriters. After working with the publishers, they eventually started getting noticed in the U.S. and U.K., the Everly Brothers then signed on to Warner Brothers and released hit songs such as Walk Right Back, That's Old Fashioned, and Crying in the Rain. After getting discharged from active duty from the Marine Corps, the Everly Brothers picked up their music career but had little success in the U.S. Their songs failed to chart, and only one LP, Beat and Soul, made it to number 141. By 64, the brothers were addicted to amphetamines. However, Don was more profound addiction as he also took Ritalin, uh, which deepens their troubles. Don's addiction went on for three years until he got hospitalized after having a nervous breakdown and to treat his addiction. The uh, media didn't get wind of their addiction troubles uh, since they would lie to the press. When Don collapsed in 62 in England, reporters were informed that he had food poisoning. Even when the media insisted that he'd taken an overdose of pills, Don's brother and wife insisted that he was just exhausted. Never a good idea to mix business with pleasure, as evidenced by many rock bands who get involved with drugs and other things. The Everleys have been working together almost all their lives, and they have managed to hold a vacade for 20 years until things fell through the cracks in 73. Don showed up drunk to a show they were performing in Hollywood. Don recapped the night by saying, I was half in the bag that evening, the only time I ever been drunk on stage in my life. You know, it was the last night, and on a way out, I drank some tequila drank some champagne, started celebrating the demise. It was really a funeral. People thought that night was just some brouhaha between Phil and me. Don kept messing the lyrics up until his brother Phil had had enough of the situation. Phil smashed his guitar over his head and walked out of the concert, leaving Don to finish the show alone. According to the Rolling Stone, the brothers uh, didn't talk again for 10 years. They, however, met at their father's funeral. Things remained tense between them. Fortunately, the Everly Brothers patched things up in 1983 for a lucrative reunion concert. Uh, if there was ever one thing that was said in that whole thing that uh, was so true was uh, you can't mix music with drugs and alcohol. I uh, don't care how much you try and you can say, well, the rockers live that rock and roll style. And no, they don't. They wouldn't be able to handle the, 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 the grueling tours and stuff, if they were really that bad. No, I couldn't. Sorry. Um, that's all I got for you. I hope you guys got something out of this. hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it is good to know that they got back together in 83 and they reconciled. Um, please, if you have not yet subscribed, I'm going to beg at the end of it, too. If you have not subscribed, please do. Uh, please leave your uh, requests in the comment section. Uh, have a great day. God bless you. Praying for you.